Why, hello. I want to welcome you here today. We are so honored to have Showing Hero right out of the Chicago area, based out of, launched out of the Chicago area. And I have two of their executives here. And I got to do this right now. Asif and I have Z. Did I do good? And yep. they're, they're both here representing Showing Hero. <laughs> As you know, the spotlight on this series is all about technology, technology for landlords, and moving forward with technology and all the exciting things to come. So I'm not gonna to talk too much. I want you guys to introduce yourself, maybe give me a little background as to how you're relieving some pain out there in the uh, property management market. Yeah, of course. Fee, do you wanna go first? Um, either, either way is perfectly fine. Yeah. Oh, look at that polo, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I can start. Um, so my name is Asif. We've, uh, I'm one of the co-founders with V and Showing Hero. Our story is actually quite interesting. Um, I'm a landlord in Atlanta um, and V is a property manager in Chicago. Um, and we're based out of Chicago, but what was interesting was when we were, when I was, I'd come to Z, I think it was, I think it might've been 2016. I'd gone to Z over some coffee and I was talking to him about some of the issues that I was, you know, having uh, with just renting out the properties. And, you know, I wanted to showcase the property, but it was just, I was getting random phone calls in the middle of the night. I was getting text messages, voicemails, and I, I would call them back and they didn't know which listing I was talking about. And so, you know, I came up to Z and I was like, look, Z, you have to take over my properties for me. <laughs> and and I was like, you know, and I was stroking his ego and I was like, you know, you've been, you know, in the industry for like, what, 10 plus years, you managed like 1500 properties, what's a few more to you? And him being a good friend said, yeah, of course I'll do it. I'll just charge you double the price because I know that you're going to, oh, you're going to be hands on. And, but, it was, but what, what ended up happening was we ended up having a real discussion about what, you know, the beauty of property management. We love what we do. We love um, the industry, but we, we felt that there were just gaps and void in the way that we were doing business. And we just felt like it could just be a bit more efficient uh, when we were like, there has to be a way around it. Um, and I'll let Z tell the story. He had some really interesting hacks that he was doing, right? Like we were, you know, I would have some sort of like Excel stuff, but he was just trying to like teach me how to do things. And this was, was it like 20, or 2015. I know he's been in the industry for a while, but it was just so interesting. We we're trying to like come around different ways of how do we solve this issue um, so people aren't running all over around. But that's how like the inception of the idea actually came. We, you know, me just trying to figure out how to manage a few of my properties as a landlord um, and kind of talking to Z about how he uh, was able to manage it at a larger scale. So one of the things that we we noticed, right, um, just like Asif was saying, was when I would when I would when we spoke to Asif and we kind of went through this idea and I said, what are the easiest ways of doing things, right? With property management, the coolest thing about it is we're like a community, right? We share so many ideas, right? And I'm part of the real property management um, brand, right? And it's, it's just an amazing system out there, right? And we have 13 franchises in the Chicagoland area. And so when, when we're working, we're getting so much collaboration, we're getting so much information, right? And I thought we were doing something cool and I just felt like it wasn't enough, right? We were hacking together very many different solutions, but we were all about technology. Um, just like you had mentioned, Linda, that that's something that's very important, being able to use technology to help, right? So I know it costs so much for us. We, we had a call center in our office just for leasing. Um, three full staff, full-time um, staff members. And I had three leasing agents who were going out. It was two, uh, two full-time leasing agents and one part-time leasing agent, but they were working. They were working really, really hard. And, you know, they kind of like set up systems and we kind of shared systems, but it wasn't enough. And that's, I think, where this idea came around where we said, you know, um, I, I feel like I, I, I could say this out loud. I know he, you know, Asif is a little bit of a perfection perfectionist, right? So it, it's like, it's just this thing where when, when, I'm, when we were talking about it, we're like, 
you know, I feel like I should make something that can kind of bring a few solutions together, but not that manual. And Asif was like, what if we just make the best system out there? And I was like, yeah, sound, of course. No, why not? Sure. <laughs> right away. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Why not? Let's do it. Um, but I think we kind of like that idea resonated with us. And we said, what if we can do something that's really cool and be able to make a little open source so that other people can kind of take from it? You know, so we have like small plans with landlords that landlords can use our system um, and they're not even paying for it. But at the same time, we... I think that that's one of the biggest things and that's the idea of showing here of being able to say that as a property manager myself, we really needed something to help us on the leasing side of things because there is property management software and don't get me wrong. Property management software is the most important thing, right? But what we needed was we needed a leasing solution, a showing solution, something that can help us in that regard itself. Well, you know, one of the common themes I'm involved in as well in a lot of conferences and stuff, and you listen, and, and what I'm hearing from you that I just think is so true, one of the common things is people don't understand property management has, I'll call it small margins, whether it's the leasing agent or it's the actual lifestyle of it. Very true. So I'm like yourself, I'm always looking for what solution can I plug in that's going to reduce my overhead. So when I heard you say, you know, I have three people here, the reality is like people have called us, like, could you help us take those calls? Like, and I honestly answered them, no, you don't want to pay me what we're worth to, cause the, the reality is for every 10 calls, eight of those are a waste of time. So you were paying three people, right? Seriously, they're just, you know, Very and I don't mean it rude. I just, eight of them aren't serious. They're just shopping or whatever. They're kicking the tires. And yes. now you paid somebody, you're paying three people all day long to answer, you know, that call center. It's like, you gotta, it, that's a big pain point for a small landlord. And then they go the opposite way and they stop taking the calls or returning the calls. And that's their most important lead. So true. Right? Like, it is so true. Because you want, what we realized in the beginning was that I wanted my showing agents to show. I didn't right. want my showing agents to take calls. Right. Right. Not to be on the phone all the time. So we kind of like try to segregate that and kind of make a system. But that was the most difficult part. Now, if I can shed a little bit of light in terms of data, right? We, our clients get... Uh, uh, approximately, I mean, our average client gets around 300, 280 leads per day. Wow. 280 wow. leads per day. Now that's yeah. not, that's, that's something that there is no possible way to be able to take that many calls, to be able to take that many emails. And that's what Showing Hero comes and does. It automates everything so that we're taking every call for all, for every single listing that's on the market. We take every single lead call prospect call and we take every single email every single guest card that comes in is coming right to showing hero so now the client can focus on things that are more important which is closing running the business right exactly and they don't have the additional funds to i'll say staff up their office and and then and and let's face it the next pain point is even if they do the person on the phone might not be the one that knows how to convert a lead. You know what I mean? So it's like lots so of professional that knows and that's all they do. That's their niche. Let them automate it for one. And then for two, let their expertise like your, you know, like yourself get in there and close the deal, you know, so that uh, the average landlord, that's not necessarily their skill set. you know? And one of the things just to add on is what we really kind of did was that, so when that lead, or like, let's just say if you were getting 200 leads, not only were you not able to reach out to them, but weren't just sending out generic messages and saying, hey, this is what it was. It was, hey, we were contacting them and say, hey, you're interested in this particular property. Here are the show times available. We were customizing those messages. Um, so it was personable. Um, it was effective. And then if you know, sometimes it doesn't work with one touch point, right? I wish it did. I wish yeah. I called them, you know, yeah. text it up. We would then send them another reminder, right? And say, hey, we saw that you were interested in this property. You still haven't scheduled a showing. Um, either give us a call or, you know, you can go online and schedule a showing yourself, right? So we were nurturing that prospect, which really becomes 
you know, one of the things that I think, I forget which, you know, one of our company clients just told us recently and they said, you know, there's no way I could have done business like this before. There's no way I could have reached out to every single lead, contacted them in the way that they wanted to be contacted and then follow up with them. There's no way I could have scheduled these many showings. And, and, I, and we were doing a little talk before, you know, before we started recording it's the data there, you know, I'm just so big on that. That's a gold mine of data that you're collecting for them. You're helping determine, I'll call it lifestyles. What's the characteristics of these people that do want to see your unit so you can advertise, you know, market it in a much better way. Like that's just so important that you're helping them with that piece. Cause again, the smaller, Landlord is not necessarily what 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 did when do they usually come to you? Like at what point would you say is an average time of you know how many units I guess is what I'm saying where all of a sudden they're like, you know what, I need help, let me go to showing hero. You know? I think I think it would depend. I think it depends on the on the landlord themselves. It depends on the property management company. Um, what we have noticed is that most people that have a growth mindset. Mm -hmm are looking for technology in the beginning. Yeah, that's true. That's you know, a good so, answer. That's true. That, that's what we have noticed. So a lot of people, they may only have, um, you know, 70 units under management, but they're like, you know what, I'm really looking to grow and I don't want to spend time doing the more repetitive or easy stuff. I want to do the stuff that matters. Right. You know, and that's what we do as consultants, right? As property managers, I've been working with so many RPM offices and whenever I'm speaking to the offices that have just begun, and even I'm always taking advice from, from people, sure. right? But when we're doing that, one of the biggest things we're doing is we're, we're sharing war stories, but we're saying, what's the best way to do something? Yeah. Um, yeah. So that's, that's where we, that's where it comes in. We're just like, use technology use it in the best way possible. I mean, when, you know, when it comes to pain points, I'll give you an example, right? That I always tell my, my leasing agents when they're out there, I'm like, get feedback. It doesn't matter what it is, but get feedback for the home, right? This right. is the only way we'll get insight. But my leasing agents were always having such a hard time. I was like, this is something that we should automate. And I was, I thought that this would be a great idea to be able to bring on for Showing Hero, um, maybe at Showing Hero 2.0. Um, Asif, my friend, um, thought that it must be on, on day one. So, <laughs> so he I missed mean, that deadline. Yeah. Yeah. I tell you, I, I told you I worked for a developer and that's exactly his deadlines were always yesterday. He'd pop up with the idea and go, okay, can you get this done yesterday? <laughs> So true. That's great though. I, I mean, honestly, that I think that feedback, again, that's, it's no different than all these electronic surveys, right? Because now we have the data, now we can put it together. What do we need to change about this unit? You know, I can't make so a unit true. on a busy street, I can't make that noise go away. But I can learn how to appeal to the people that love the excitement of the beeping horns and you know, I don't want the guy that needs to be on a cul-de-sac somewhere. You know, I, I have to write that ad so I appeal to that person that loves that excitement, you know. And Linda, this is what I appreciate about, like, the, the expertise that you're bringing to the table, right? Because it's like when we talk about this stuff, we know what matters. And it, it's, it, it's, it's fun. It's fun talking about this stuff. It's true. It's so true. You need to get the right person into the home. You can't change right. where. Right. But you can get a person who wants to be yeah. there. Yeah, exactly. And, and if you learn from that feedback, like you said, if, if and I'm getting this right now, if Asif said that, um, you know, let's get the feedback, now we want to use it. You know, th that's the other problem. You see too many people gathering data and then they don't do anything with it. You know what I mean? Like you got to make good decisions because of it wholeheartedly i think you're talking to two finance guys we love numbers um and it's all we do you know so if you if z and i like we get so geeked out so we're you know, we're actually launching a whole new reporting for showing hero and you know like all the nice graphs and data and, stuff, and it, it's about like what numbers you know tell a story right. right and that story is important like i and knowledge is important right so you know, one of the things is if you're going to have someone come see your property, you need to qualify and screen them, right? You want to know who's coming because you don't want to go, maybe your property is 45 minutes away and you're like, you know, having a babysitter 
or you're missing a game or you're you know missing some family time or whatnot and you're driving over and then you find out that this person wasn't even qualified or this didn't even have the requirements or didn't right but if you can get that data prior you can get what this individual wants and then you make the showing more meaningful you can customize it you use that data to help you close that door and then the following up and the feedback then becomes even that much more important right it tells a story about the property and about the process i think that's terrific and i think the more feedback and i think we as a society i'll say are used to giving out that feedback um, and I always say, you know, like it's a double edged sword, right? That when I go on to Amazon, they know exactly what boots I like. So maybe it's creepy, but it's, it's awful. A scary, it's a little it's creepy, but it's awful convenient. I don't really want to go through 25 pages of boots to find, you know, the 10 styles that I possibly wear, right? You know, booties and this and that. I don't know. If you guys like shoes, but I definitely. I welcome the Google Overlords. I'm ready. <laughs> Yeah, there you go. Yeah, like there is a part of you that, you know, and I feel that that's where our, I'll call it prospects are for residents for apartments. Like they don't want to tell you everything. Somehow you got to get it out of them because the reality is they don't want to look through 25 pages to find the right unit. Like there's a lifestyle, there's something there that needs to be joined so that they can find like, especially I, I always say the ones that are in the Chicago area, and I know this is in Atlanta and everywhere else, like I'll call it, there's the neighborhoods. There's not all just the institutionalized high rises. And, and how do those people, I'll say, compete with the high rises that of course I have the top listings on a regular search. You know, it, it's like, and yeah, yeah, there's people out there looking for that lifestyle. The, yeah. They want to be down the block from, you know, a Wrigley Field or, you know what I'm saying? Right. How, how do you advertise? How do you match that, those two things up, you know? Right. People who want to live in, in a certain suburb, people who want to go to a certain school district now. Um, and that's, you know, that just from what you're mentioning, Linda, that's that I feel like that's, you know, there's a thousand things we can talk about when it comes to showing here, because if we were to go over it, right, what we did was we created a system that is very customized and that can really do almost anything, right? When we speak to clients, Linda, um, one of the biggest things that we um, notice is as a response, which does kind of get us excited, but one of the biggest things is that we hear them coming back and saying, no way, can you guys actually do that? And you can actually do this too? Can you guys do this? And that's something that really excites us, but that was the product, right? Like I'll give you a, a few examples. You know, our listing page, one of the things that I think was very cool about it is that it gives the prospect, it's a prospect driven system, right? These right. days, everyone is prospect driven. So what we have our, our listing page is we have all the information there from nearby schools, walk scores, bike scores, transit scores, yeah. feedback. What are other people saying about the home, right? And if we can have a few more people kind of start doing this, we would be super excited because we know it's good for everyone. Exactly, exactly. And that was one of the reasons I wanted to um, have Showing Hero on for our, our members, people that are listening, because I think you're like, I'll call it state of the art, you're doing what needs to be done in this space, you know, and, and the fact this explains it, I'll say meeting you in person and the fact that you're saying you like the numbers, you like the data, people that are driven by that are making the solutions that work for landlords and, and uh, property managers, you know, that's that's great. It's absolutely fantastic. <laughs> what Thank you. Other kind words. There any, no, sincere words, really. Not kind words, sincere words. What we also other, like having, I was going to say, we also like having fun, and that's why I think we do it. Because we yeah. truly, and I think like you, right, we truly, like, this is something, when I told Z, I was like, hey, uh, you know, I'm going to be speaking with another expert in the field, and I'm, you know, and I gave him a little bit of background, and then he's like, <laughs> he's like, he's, you know, he moved around, and he's like, like we enjoy this, right? This is what we yeah. like doing, like talking to other property managers, landlords, um, and talking to experts in the field like yourself um, so we can better understand the business and the industry. And then sharing that knowledge, right, is the only way the industry itself will grow. Yeah, absolutely. And, and it is exciting to see it taking off with all these technologies and to see, like we brought up that Zillow uh, announcement like you, like Z said, I welcome it. I welcome it. it it's, it's good news that they want to get involved in this space. It, it just 
it puts a it puts a spotlight on the space and like right, yourselves sure. you know we're professionals we deal with professionals and sometimes it's frustrating i'll say when you you know you're dealing with people that kind of think more mom and pop and, yeah. and, and the world is changing and they've got to jump on you know it is very true. That, that, that is something that is, is important. And I will tell you that Asif and I were speaking about it. And we, at a certain point in time, when we started seeing a, a few more of our features being used, you know, a, across the board, it was, it, it was super exciting. Even if it is competitors using certain things that we've done, right. it, it feels great because we know that one, we're, we're changing, the, the, the industry is improving, right? That's mm -hmm. a good thing for everyone. Yeah. Right. The second thing is that I still put on my property manager hat and that's a very important hat for me. Right. Yeah. I'm like, I want my industry to improve. So right. it's a, it's a, it's a really big deal. And that's why, you know, a lot of these things. And I think, you know, us, if we can kind of like just go over a few things that I think um, Linda would kind of enjoy hearing because that is the biggest thing about showing hero that it is really feature packed, but it's very customizable for a person who has one active listing to some of our clients who have 107, 108 active listings at any given time. Yeah, Asif, please, because I, I have limited time. You know, I only get about, like, I'll say about five minutes. So I'd love to make sure everybody that's listening knows, you know, what's powerful here, what's going to change their life, you know? And it, it could just be verbal. You don't have to show us either way. Right. I, 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 the thing is, just let them know this, this client's picked it because it did this to their life. Yeah, sure. So let, let me ask you this. I, see, I don't know if you can pull up a screen share. I don't know if that's possible. It should be. It should, uh, okay. I, it should have a toolbar there that says share screen. Perfect. But, but make sure you minimize anything that I, you don't want us to see. <laughs> Uh, Linda, let me ask you while he's pulling this up, just so we can tailor the conversation. Because you know, you, the, the, your your clients and your these people, what would you say are like two things that you usually get in saying, "I wish we could change this"? When it comes to leasing, I think the thing I I spoke of, and maybe mine are too small. The ones you know, the people, but I meet at conferences. They're anywhere from five to I'd say a couple hundred. That's you know, uh, an average for us. And I think their biggest thing is they're not making what I'll call it the appropriate time. They have everything we talked about. They go out on showings. It wasn't yeah. the right person to begin with. Uh, they're losing the leads because they're not calling back. So you could tell them to call back, but they're at an auction or, you know, they're right. out doing another rehab. They're always, they, they like feed on buying more properties. So their days are busy, you know? So while Z starts the screen share, I'll, I'll, I'll kind of try to address that verbally once it's that well, that's one of the things that we're having, right? Agents were taking phone calls while at another showing, they were text messaging while they're somewhere else. We take over a hundred percent of all your calls, emails, inquiries that come on your website. Um, if there's one that sets up everything, any inquiry, anytime, or if there's Zillow, through Shula, if anyone's interested in your property, we will then not only take those, we'll create the lead, we'll capture their information, and then we will then notify them and respond to them uh, by asking them to schedule a showing, right? So we take in all the leads, we respond to them, um, and then we allow the agent or we allow the landlord to create a customized calendar to then be able to showcase that property, right? So, you know, and it, and, and the whole process, right? So if you want to screen the tenant, um, we have screening questions that are fully customizable, right? So you can then be able to qualify them to who is coming into the property. So you can technically, you know, do everything. We can automate everything but the showing itself, right? So you don't, in effect, that you wouldn't even have to, you know, verbally speak to a prospect, rent, you know, prospect till you just wanted to show them the property. And then the follow up, we would do that, right? We would collect the feedback, we would do the application, we would send them the applications, um, and we would do the nurturing throughout the process. So, you know, the landlord is just showing the property and opening the door and answering any questions that they may have. Um, and we even went as, you know, a step further than that. We, if you don't, we even offer, you know, smart lock boxes that if you wanted to allow safe and secure access, you could do that as well, right? So that entire process can be handled by showing, Carol. 
I, I think that's perfect. Z, are you comfortable? Do you want to show a screen or? Um, I mean, I, I could, I just, um, trying to figure out how to be able to do this. Oh, okay. But I think one, one thing that we could do um, is even, even just talking through it, right? One of the important things, because while I'm trying to be able to figure this out and just add on um, something, I think the, it, it really is, we, we take from lead to lease, just like Asif had said, one of the biggest things is, for example, pre-screening. I think you mentioned that, Linda. Mm -hmm. right? yep. Pre-screening is one of the most important things, and it's important for both. It's important right. for both people. It's important for the prospects because they don't want to waste time right. on properties that they may not qualify for or right. on properties that might not just work for them. Right? We want to give them enough data, enough information. But our clients also find that very important because they're like, you know what, I would like the prospect to know what is important to the to the property manager or to the landlord. The right. landlord can set up certain things saying, is this a property that is pet friendly or not? Right. So that you don't have to show the property right. to people with pets, right? So we kind of make that all very automated. And it's, it's literally from the time a person, for example, Zillow, if they right. are interested in a property that is available on Zillow, as soon as they put in their information or they call in, Showing Hero steps in and takes the entire process away. So pre-screening, scheduling the showing according to the agent. Okay, so this is perfectly made to be able to make the agent extremely efficient. Right. Okay. Right. And right after that, once we once we schedule the showing, another thing that we used to have a that was a very big pain point for us was confirming the showing because we had so many no shows. Right. right? Exactly. So, we automatically confirm the showing and then we remind the prospect, we remind the agent, we update their Google calendars. Yep. And once the showing is over, we will ask for feedback, nurture the applic nurture the prospect to be able to schedule, uh, to be able to complete an application. And that's where it comes, that's where the system really comes in and makes sure that the, the client is getting so many applications for the property so that they're able to get the property rented and off their books, right? Because you want to, you want to, you want to establish cash flow. Yep, absolutely. And I think, you know, my best landlords, I'll say that I'm out there and we interact with on conferences, zero days vacancy. I always say that's the goal. You know what I mean? So if they can get your part of the process down, even when it comes to renewals, they can turn it over that fast. You know, I, I I'm really worried about, Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. I don't want to take. Oh, no, I was, I was just going to say that since you mentioned that, that's one of the biggest things we have for our properties is occupied properties. We help you show occupied properties, especially in a place like Chicago, right? Chicago right. Is 48 hours, 48 hours notice. You must give 48 hours yeah. not notice. That is the law, right? We made the system so that it does it for you. You can oh show properties God. and it takes care of the entire process. You don't have to do any of the notification. It's doing it for you. Well, that like that's a home run and oh my God, that's incredible because us personally know how painful that is. So if you could get somebody in the middle of that process that's going to help automate it, make sure everybody knows and oh, that's, that's absolutely incredible. Um, I do want you to say your contact information quick because I'm so afraid we're going to run out of time. And I can always um, have somebody attach a demo to this if you'd like, or I could start again, but make sure please that we end this with your contact information. So how, how can somebody, what's yeah. the best way for them to get a hold of you? Sure, you, I'll, I'll put my email. It's asif, A-S-I-F, at showinghero.com. Um, and you know, if there, you know, we would love to, you know, work with you, uh, and, you know, anyone who's listening to this demo, you know, you and I were talking about it. It's a matter of, you know, just let us know it's coming through Think Realty to you and we'll give you a 30 day free tour, you know, to be able to, to, be able to access the site, learn it because we know you're going to fall in love with us. Right. So we can definitely send out a demo or send out more literature as needed. Um, but we would love to be able to then continue this forward. Okay, and yeah. if you want to do a second a second recording, we can just, again, we can end this and then I could put them together. Um, I don't want to take away from your time. This was absolutely phenomenal information. Thanks. Do so you much think the features that. would be important? 
Do you want us to go through more of the features or what do you think? Based if you on have another minute, why don't we? Why don't we end this? Because it's going to end in less than one minute. I don't know if that's on your screen. It says less than yeah. one minute. So then let's just, all you have to do is re-click the link and we'll join right back in and let's do, you know, five, 10 minutes, whatever it takes you to.